All right, math time. We've got a concave mirror and we're given the focal length of eight centimeters. We've got a four centimeter tall pencil and it's six centimeters away from the mirror. So we've given, we've, uh, we have F eight centimeters. We have the height of the object. This is how tall it is. So that is H O height of the object. And we have where it is, six centimeters away from the mirror. So that is the distance of the object, DO. The first thing we're asked for is the image distance. That's DI. And they haven't asked us for any heights here. They gave us a height, but they also gave us F and DO, which means to find the image distance, I only need one over F equals one over DO plus one over di. Now, all we have to do is fill in some numbers. f is eight, so one over f becomes one over eight. do is six, so one over do becomes one over six. We don't have one over di, that's what we're gonna be solving for. Now, we need to do a little math. One divided by eight, gives me 0 0.125. One divided by six gives me 0 0.166 and it keeps going. I'm gonna round it to seven. Plus one over di. Now, I need to move this point 0.1667 to the other side of the equal sign. That gets me my di alone on this side. 0 0.125 minus 0 0.1667. Notice I flipped the side and I flipped the sign. I'm subtracting it equals one over di. Now I'm gonna do that on the calculator. 0 0.125 minus 0 0.1667. Now I'm running out of space here, so that's gonna be negative 0 0.0417 is one over di. And to solve for di, all I have to do is do one over that other side. Remember, that's how you undo one over on this side, you do one over on that side. So one divided by 0 0.0417, and make sure it's negative, gives me 23.98. DI is out oh, negative 23.98. And the units are gonna be centimeters. So what this means is that the image is going to be about 24 centimeters behind the mirror. The negative D means it's behind the mirror. In fact, that's what I've made a follow-up question here for you. What does it mean because the image distance is negative? Well, it means the image is behind the mirror, i.e. on the opposite side as the object, and that makes the image virtual. That's the definition of virtual image. Cool? Cool. Little follow up here, I also want to know the image height. Now I only have one equation that has image height in it, and that's high over ho equals negative di over do. Luckily for me, I have do, it was given in the question over here, right? I have di, I found it in part A. And I also have ho, it was given in the question. Ah, we finally figured out why we were given that there. So we just have to fill these numbers in. We don't know the height of the image. That's what they're asking for. We do know the height of the object. It's four centimeters. Check. We've got a negative here, DI. DI apparently was negative 23.98. Ah. Negative 23.98. Notice that I kept my negative here and my D was negative. Those two negatives are gonna end up canceling each other out. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. DO turns out used to be six. Cool, so there we go. 
Now, we need to get some numbers here. We've got 23.98 negative. I have to negative that. Oh, look, it became positive. I don't know if you can see that on my calculator. It's positive now. And I have to divide it by 6. That gives me 3.996. HI over 4 equals 3.99. Actually, I'm going to round that to 997. And now I have to undo dividing by 4. To undo dividing by 4, I have to take the right side of my equation and multiply by 4. Remember, you undo division with multiplication. And so I'll times 4, and I get 15.99. HI is 15.99 centimeters. Cool. Now, that is a positive image height. Is the image upside down or right side up? If the HI, the height of the image, was negative, it would be upside down. But here, HI is positive. Therefore, it's right side up, not inverted. Right side up. Check. Let's refresh you on the signs. A positive image distance means real image. A negative image distance means virtual. A positive height of image is right side up. A negative HI is upside down. Here it was positive, so it was right side up. The last thing I want to point out is that it's a concave mirror so F is positive. If this had said a convex mirror, I would have had to have made F negative because F is negative for convex mirrors. It's just the way we define them. Okay, good luck with the math. Math is fun. That's it, best of luck.